As we mentioned, with three days of the spearing season now in the book, spearers may soon be out of time. That's right. So Drew joins us now to let us know just how much longer the ice may be open. Well, you know, some years sturgeon spearers get two full weekends out of the sturgeon season, but uh, this doesn't look like it's going to be one of those years. Adult females are going fast. Projections are that the 90% cap trigger, which could be met by tomorrow on either the upriver lakes, Lake Winnebago, or both, would mean that the whole season would end by Wednesday. I mean thousands of spearers would head home empty-handed once again. Martin Ross has more on what spearers are doing to try to become one of the lucky ones. Jim Rosenthal has been sturgeon spearing since 1978. It took 18 years before Rosenthal even saw his first sturgeon. I thought it would be a lot easier than what it was. And people I talked to said they see fish all every year. I've missed probably more fish than I've gotten, but it, the, the idea of throwing a spear and hitting the, the fish is something that if you're not here, you really can't respect the idea of how fast that fish moves because one flick of the tail and that thing's out of, out of sight and gone. Over those 18 years, advancements in technology have given spears a better chance of finding these elusive sturgeon. It's improved the odds a lot. On the camera, for me, it makes it easier to see what's on the bottom. The spears fly better probably now than when they used to be just a straight pipe. It's nice to have all this easiness of it because you can... If it gets boring, you talk to somebody else. Have you been seeing anything lately? Uh, there's some little fish going over to... Not only did Rosenthal want to improve his odds, but he also wanted to improve his comfort level, as you never know how long the sturgeon spearing season will last. Comfort is a great importance, because if you aren't comfortable, you can't sit still. And if you're not sitting still, you can't look down the hole to find the fish. Despite these new tools, Rosenthal's 2010 season will continue another day. On Lake Winnebago, Martin Ross, Fox 11 Sports.